guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another week of what's for dinner. If you're new here, hello and welcome. I'm Taylor. I share these what's for dinner videos every Sunday to give you guys some dinner inspiration and to hopefully motivate y'all to cook more often for your family. That's why I started doing these videos because I was not cooking or I was cooking like not really good homemade meals. Every meal doesn't have to be a good like homemade meal. It can be easy stuff like hamburger helper. But when that was literally like everything I was making or we were eating a lot of fast food. It just wasn't good for our budget. And so I started cooking more and filming it to motivate me. Because if I'm showing y'all, I want to show you something good most of the time. We do have a lot of repeat meals over here. Like tonight is spaghetti. I like to always do something really easy on Fridays because it's my grocery shopping day. And I'm just worn out after grocery shopping with two kids. So if you're new here, I would love it if you would subscribe down below, leave me a thumbs up, and now let's get into this week's dinners. Okay, as I said, it was Friday and we were having spaghetti. So I just made some regular spaghetti noodles, the Kroger brand noodles, and then I also made some spaghetti squash. Ignored the mess, I, I made a mess trying to scoop it out of there. But I made this in the pressure cooker, um, high pressure, six minutes, and then quick release, and it was, it's perfect. I've made it like that before, and it's so much better making it in there, and like, with the time to come to pressure, it's a total of like 16 minutes, so that beats an hour in the oven by far. And we love spaghetti squash, well, everybody except for Elijah, but he does have a little bit sneaked in here, cut up with his noodles. Lily has a lot of it under there, and I have mostly spaghetti squash, and then a little bit of noodles on top, and then sauce and cheese. And that is going to be our quick and easy dinner for Friday. It is Saturday, and tonight's dinner is another super easy one. I didn't even film me making it because it was just too easy. So I had some tilapia that I thought out today, and I just seasoned it with this Zatarain's Blackened Seasoning. It's really good, especially on the tilapia. Um, it's good on chicken and stuff too. So I did that, and then I just fried it in the pan. Just a touch of oil in the pan and fish and it cooks so fast. The thing that took the longest was this dirty rice. This is from Aldi. I made it. I did not add meat since we were having fish. I didn't add ground beef or sausage to it. Um, and this cooked 20 minutes in the microwave. Super easy to mix everything together and microwave it. So got that. And that is what that looks like. And then I just made a can of corn. And this has pepper and butter and garlic powder in it. So these are the kids' plates. Elijah, Lily, and then my plate. And that is going to be dinner for Saturday. It is Sunday and tonight for dinner I am having like a grilled cheese where it has egg and bacon on it. And so I made a bunch of bacon. And Andy's going to have grilled cheese probably with that as well. Got some of that Progresso hearty tomato soup over here. The kids just had regular gold cheese with the tomato soup. But yeah, that is mine. I'm currently cooking some more eggs to put together some breakfast sandwiches for Andy with the bacon. So that'll be like his breakfast the next two days. But yeah, that is going to be dinner for Sunday. Hey guys, it is Monday. I am sorry if you can hear my neighbor's leaf blower in the background. He comes home, he's like a landscaper, and he blows off his driveway like every single night right now. It's kind of annoying. It's 5.30 and he's blowing leaves. But I need to cook dinner, and I wanted to show you guys real quick. Um, I'm not going to do like talking through this dinner because I have made it many times before. It is a baked sweet and sour chicken. I believe it was Kristen Stepp who originally shared this recipe, but it comes from Mel'sKitchenCafe.com. It is going to be linked in my description box. I am doubling the recipe because tonight I am making dinner for my brother. His birthday is Friday the 20th. You guys are seeing this after that. But being, what is he going to be? He's going to be 24. He wants to probably go out on his birthday. He doesn't know what his plans are yet. So I was like, how about I cook you dinner the Monday before? We get it out of the way. We don't try to do it too close to Christmas. So that's what we are doing tonight. He didn't have any like specific requests. So I said, how about this? I've made it a bunch of times. We know we like it. So that's what we're doing. Sweet and sour chicken. I made some white rice in the Instant Pot last night. So I'm gonna make fried rice with that. And then I'm going to make some broccoli in my air fryer. And then I made a cake. This is going to be a 
Peppermint hot chocolate bundt cake. I still have to put the icing on here and decorate it. Um, that video is supposed to go up on Saturday. So this should this is the video for this should already be up. If you missed it, check the description box. It'll be down there. So check that out. Um, yeah. So I'm going to heat up this oil in this pan. I've got my chicken in my bag. I'm going to season it with salt and pepper, coat it with some cornstarch, and then I will dip the chicken in egg and then fry it just until it gets golden. doesn't have to be cooked through because it's going to go in here and bake in the oven. And we will make a sweet and sour sauce with sugar, ketchup, apple cider vinegar, soy sauce, and garlic salt to go on top. And it is so good. If you have not tried this recipe, definitely try it. It gets super crispy and it tastes just like you bought it or even better like Chinese food. So I'm going to get started. How is it? Wet. I didn't eat this yet, but. but. Yes. Never heard of it. It's. It's hot? No, but it has hot cocoa mix in it. Oh, I got you. I see it. That's what it's called. I'm hungry. I can get it. I'm hungry. Yeah, see, that's where it collapsed. What's that? I'm hungry. It kind of collapsed. It is Tuesday and tonight for dinner I made some spinach dip. I just used the Nor like vegetable dip seasoning packet and follow the instructions on the back. So it's just the mix, some frozen spinach that I cooked, mayonnaise, sour cream, and that was it. And so we've got some tortilla chips to go with that. And then these are quesadillas, but they have barbecue pulled pork on them. 
And so these are the kids' plates. And when I make mine, which it's not gonna be right now, I will show you how I put together the quesadilla. It is Wednesday. Who'd we go see? Santa. Santa. We just got back from seeing Santa. Went and saw him at like 6.30. I had a toothache earlier and I didn't feel like cooking dinner. So I told Andy after we go see Santa, we're getting something for dinner. So I have Zaxxies. Well, we all have Zaxxies. You taking yours? <laughs> they got the kids chicken nibblers with fries, chocolate milk. And then they love these little goldfish giant graham crackers. I got wings and things. I decided to try hot honey mustard. And then, you know, chicken tenders and stuff. And then Andy got white cheddar bites or whatever they're called. This one is massive. And then he got, like, one of his original wings. Something like that. That is going to be dinner for Wednesday. Bye. For Thursday night's dinner, I decided to make a beef stew in the crock pot. I've got about a pound and a half of beef stew meat that I placed in the bottom of my crock pot. And then I peeled and cut up like four or five carrots. And then I also cut up, I think it was like five, maybe four potatoes. And then I also cut up a large onion into big chunks. Then I added in two beef bouillon cubes, some black pepper, some salt, some oregano, a couple bay leaves, some Worcestershire sauce, one can of tomato sauce, and then one can of water. And then I just covered that and cooked it on high for six hours. Okay, it has been right at six hours and the beef stew is done. I'm going to remove the bay leaves and then I'm going to take some of this broth and remove it and mix it with a little bit of cornstarch and add that in there and just to thicken up the sauce just a little bit. Okay, and here is dinner all plated up. I just made some Pillsbury Crescent Rolls real quick to go with this. You could totally add more vegetables to this if you wanted to, like some green beans or some peas or something, but I chose just to keep it simple like this. So as I said, that's our dinner for Thursday. And that's going to wrap up another week of What's for Dinner. If you like my What's for Dinners, please make sure you leave me a thumbs up. Subscribe down below if you haven't already, and I will see y'all in the next one. Bye!